Hello and welcome to Raising the Bar with me, Mr. Bar. Today we're going to be looking at geometric sequences. You'll notice here that this is doing something special. It's not going up by the same thing every time. Although it kind of is, because what's happening is I'm multiplying by 2 each time. So this is a geometric sequence. It's increasing geometrically. Now, what I need to do is consider the first term every single time. This could be rewritten as 5, the first term, times 1. And this could be rewritten as 5 times 2. And this could be rewritten as 5 times Four. And this one would be 5 times 8. And this one would be 5 times 16. Okay, well, that's useful and good to know. But how else could we write this 5 times 1? Well, I could write that as it's going up by 2 each time. So it's 5 times 2 to the what? Well, to get 1 would be 0. Here would be 5 times 2 to the 1. Here would be 5 times 2 squared. Here would be 5 times 2 to the cubed. And here's 5 times 2 to the 4. Hang on. Those are going up by one each time. The general rule for a geometric is whatever term you're looking for, your nth term, is the first term, the 5, multiplied by your rate of change, by your scale factor, by your multiplier, raised to the power of, well, this is the first term, and it's 0. This is the th second term, and it's 1. This is the third term, and it's 2. It's always going to be 1 behind the term you're looking for. So n minus 1. So the actual term for this one would be 5 lots of 2 n minus 1. So if I was looking for the 300th, if I was looking for, the, let's say, the 20th term, the 20th term would be 5 times 2 raised to the power of 20 minus 1 raised to the power of 19. Now, I'm not going to do that. That's what calculators are for. But that is a higher level sequence. Anyway, try. Best of luck. Bye-bye.